Uh, Chris, tell us a, bi uh, a bit about your involvement and your relationship with the East Lake Foundation. From a couple of diff different perspectives, I serve as a board member of the East Lake Foundation, but also have a lot of involvement because of my role with the Southern Company, uh, which is also a major sponsor for the Tour Championship. So from a couple of different angles, a couple of different perspectives, uh, there's a lot of involvement and engagement here at, uh, in the East Lake community. Uh, what what makes the East Lake Foundation so special? What what does it mean to to you? Well, you look at the goals of the of the, of the East Lake Foundation in terms of re the revitalization of, of of this community, and then you see the results, you see the benefits of the investments that have been made here. It, it makes you very very proud, but it also makes you very excited because you see what more can be done and what more is possible. And so it gives you hope, gives you aspiration, give you gets you excited for being involved in activities in this community. Uh, tell a little bit about how the, the Tour Championship supports the work of the foundation and, and what it means to have an event of this statue benefit the, the foundation. Well, clearly the proceeds that come from the Tour Championship and the contributions that are made to the East Lake Foundation provides a wonderful, wonderful financial benefit to the foundation. But I think more importantly, when you got television cameras all from, from all across the world uh, being, being here, so the, the course is highlighted, the community is highlighted, so that brings additional attention to the work that's being done here. But also during the tournament, you have all the fans and, and come to see the tournament, also get to see, get exposed to the tournament and see what's happened, what's taking place here and the work that's being done, seeing the new Drew Charter Senior Academy uh, being built. So they see the revitalization, revitalization that's taking place here. They see the kids' lives that have been saved and the work that's being done here. So it's all, all a positive uh, for the community and for the work of the East Lake Foundation. Uh, Sir Nick Faldo won the um, uh, Payne Stewart Award yeah. today. I know Southern Companies involved with that. Tell me a, a little a little bit about him and, and why he was chosen and, and what he exemplifies for, for that award. Uh, my pleasure. We have, Southern Company has sponsored the Payne Stewart Award uh, since its inception, so this will be the 15th year. One of the things we decided to do after Payne Stewart's untimely death was to find a way to continue his legacy, uh, his focus on sportsmanship, his focus on character, and his focus on love of the game and love of golf. How do we continue that? So we have honored uh, 15 other golfers since that time that, that kind of demonstrate those kind of attributes that that Payne uh, displayed himself. So it's a wonderful way to, uh, to, to, to keep Payne's movement going. Uh, and so Nick Faldo, with the things he's done around the Faldo series, uh, with his work as a, as a golf anchor uh, and his six majors that he's won, uh, so clearly he was a wonderful, wonderful golfer, but he's also demonstrated in so many ways his love for the game of golf. And so it's a great honor to honor him tonight uh, with the Payne Stewart Award. And the last question uh, could be argued as the most important for some. Uh, who do you think is going to win this week? I have no idea. You got 29 of the, of the world's best, and so uh, either one of those gentlemen uh, could, could, could take home the big prize. Uh, so it's going to be a wonderful competition, and we hope a lot of fans come out to witness it. Thanks, Chris.